filming a e.l.f. haul and I'm so excited because I ordered like so much stuff from e.l.f. a few weeks ago whenever they were having a 50% off their whole website which is crazy and then um, free shipping over $36 and it literally oh my gosh yes one of the best deals I've ever made because um, I love pretty much everything that I bought surprisingly and everything that I got like works for me which is awesome so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get started Okay, I'm also going to be swatching all these products because I already opened them because I, I can never wait, okay? And it's been a few days since I got my package, so I took off my little thing and my tan's a little funky on this hand because I fake tanned and then I had to wear that thing on my arm, you know, for my wrist. So it's a little funky and anyways, okay, let's get started. I have a bunch of stuff in this bag and yeah, literally my mom was like, it looks like they just took everything on their shelves and dumped it in the bag and I was like, well, I mean, if you want something, you have to buy it, okay? Okay. So the first thing that I bought was the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation, and I'm actually wearing this today. I've been wearing this the past two days, I think. I am surprised that I love this, okay? Which is so weird, but so far, I really, really like it. I got it in the color porcelain just because I didn't know how it was going to be, but I looked up swatches of the colors online, and they do run dark. Um... So this is darker, I feel like, than my natural or buff beige foundation from CoverGirl. Um, and this one's called Porcelain, which makes no sense, but they run darker, so make sure that you look up swatches if you're going to order online, and keep that in mind if you're in the store. Um, but it comes with a pump, and I actually really, really like this. It has SPF 15. It doesn't make me oily at all, even with the SPF in it. Um, it's oil-free. And spin on oiliness and it really does cover it does a nice job it doesn't look cakey I just surprisingly really like this I want to try it because my friend Cotty had it um, and I really really like this okay the next thing I bought was the elf mineral primer and this is just a silicone -y feeling primer it's clear it's awesome I've been putting it under the foundation and it really does keep it on I also bought another face primer and this one is in radiant glow so this is just supposed to give you like a dewy finish but when I bought it I didn't think it was going to be like glittery, but it, it is. Um, this would be better, I think, for a highlight than under your foundation just because it's really, really sparkly. But and then I also got the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I heard about this through It's Blondie or Casey Holmes here on YouTube. She said it was a really good dupe for the NARS one if you don't want to spend it. And it's just a translucent um, white powder. This is a really big... Um, like it's a really big jar of powder for how much the money is and so far I've really been liking this I've been using it to set my under eyes and actually today I used it to set my whole face and I really liked it it kept my oil away but um, I mainly bought it to use under my under eyes because they always look gross and I just wanted them to look better and like I don't know they always look cakey and dry and it's not because I'm putting too much product, I just think I'm putting the wrong product. And so then I'm again with like the weird dryness around under my eyes, I also bought the e.l.f. Eye Refresh. And I have another eye cream that I use at night, but I feel like it's too heavy to use during the day. So I got the Eye Refresh, which is just like a metal roller ball with like eye treatment in it. And then I bought the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in light. And so this comes with a eyebrow powder and then a gel which I haven't used the wax gel stuff yet um, I've just used the powder and that's what I used to fill in my eyebrows today my eyebrows have been on point lately because I actually have something to fill them in with and then I also bought the lip exfoliator and I just thought this was a really cool concept it just looks like a lipstick you rub it on and it really does exfoliate your lips you have to be careful because it can be a little bit rough but it's just like a sugary like vanilla-y scrub okay. I bought a lot of lip products so the first lip product I bought was the elf moisturizing lipstick and this is in coral cutie which is this bright coral color that I'm kind of obsessed with and it's really really pigmented I've yet to wear this on my lips but as you can see right there it's just a really bright bright coral color and it's very true to color when you swatch so, so far I'm pretty happy with this lipstick. The next two lip products that I got are the extra lip glosses and I got the one in Brian and also the one in Mark. And they look fairly similar in the tube, but when you swatch them, they do look different, like different enough to have both. That color is Brian and then this one is Mark right there. And then I got three of these luscious liquid lipsticks, that's what they're called. Um, the first one I got was in the shade Raspberry, 
and it's just like a standard raspberry color and these are really awesome because they smell minty which I really really like and then I also got the color strawberry which is just like a strawberry red and then I also got the color imperfect pink so this one is raspberry strawberry and then perfect pink it's right there and then I bought two of the glossy glosses and these also look really similar in the tube but they are different when you put them on so the first one that I got is called ballet slippers and they do look kind of brown in the tube which I was like no this is not gonna be good but when swatched they're really really pretty so the color ballet slippers is this first one and it's just a really nice peachy nude it's a lot lighter than it looks in the tube when you swatch it and then I also got tangy tangerine which is a more orange um color which I mean it's just an orange tangerine color but it looks super pretty on your lips and I thought this would be good for spring so that one is the tangy tangerine and that one is ballet slippers and then I got two of the conditioning lip balms the first one here that I got um wow it doesn't say what it is on the tube I think this was like a melon mellow melon or something like that but it's just this melony pink color and these have decent color for being a lip balm I was really surprised and pleased with them that one is mellow melon I think it was and I also got the romantic rouge color which is just like a red raspberry color this one is super pigmented like really pigmented like I tap my finger in there and put it on and this is what I got um, it's a really nice berry red color. I really, really like it. And then the last lip product I got was a matte lip color in natural. And it's just this natural um, pinkish nude color. I went with a lot of naturally pinky nudes because, I don't know, I don't know. That's one of my favorite colors. This is a little bit more mauve, I think. Um, and then I also got one of these shimmering facial whips. And I heard this was a dupe for... I can't think about it. Benefits High Beam. It was like around the same color. And this is the one in Lilac Petal, I feel like. I think it is. Yeah, Lilac Petal. And it's really pretty. And it does look a lot like the Benefit High Beam. I was very pleased. And it's so such a pretty color. Like, I feel like this is going to be such a pretty highlight. I have yet to try this one. Because um, I honestly forgot I bought it. And I was leaving most of the stuff in the bag. But it's such a pretty pinky highlight. And if you can see right there, it's so pretty and it's so shimmery. It's not glittery, it's just shimmery and so pretty. And then I also bought a baked highlighter and this kind of broke, which made me sad, but this is in the color Moonlit Pearl. And the top like came off. Like it's like this the baked part, but it's not like shattered or anything. But I don't wanna like it looks like this. Um <laughs> You can't really see it. And I feel like this is a little bit more of a natural highlight. Um, one that you can wear every day and get away with. The other one I think is a little bit more bold. So if you're looking for an every, more of an everyday highlight. And then I also got eyelash curler like replacement pads. Because I have an elf eyelash curler and I love it. But I needed new heads because mine are getting disgusting and full of mascara. Which is gross. And so the first brush that I got was the e.l.f. blush brush and I love this. I don't think I, I'm, I'm not using it for blush because I feel like it's a little small for blush for my face, but I love this to set my under eyes. I've been using it just to set with that powder and it's so soft and I really And I also bought this um, angled foundation brush, which I'm not gonna use it for that, but it's just this angled brush and I thought it was gonna be a little bit more dense than it is, but it's very flat and I was going to use it for like my contour because I've been seeing a lot of people using like the Ida Brush from NARS and things like that. So I was going to try this out, but I think it's a little small, so I just might use it for like a highlight brush, but I'm not really sure yet. And the next brush that I got is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush, which I'm not using this for concealer either. This is just like a larger blending brush, so I just use it, used it today just to like blend everything out. Um, I have a blending brush, but I only have one, and so that one's good for like placing the color because it's a little bit smaller. And this one's just good for buffing and blending and highlighting and like under your brow bone and stuff like that so I'm obsessed with this brush and I might order like three more or buy three more. So that is it for my elf haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am so excited to get and play with all of these items and get all these nasty swatches all off of me because I kind of just touched one in. But I'm really liking all the products that I've tried so far and I'll keep you guys updated. Let me know down below if you want me to do a review um, on any of these products that I've mentioned if you guys have been interested in them or 
whatnot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.